guest is an Emmy-nominated writer, director, comedian, and the co-creator of Chappelle's show. His latest comedy special, Crazy Good, is streaming now on Netflix. Let's take a look. Women's social media. It's just a lot of beautiful underdogs. <laughs> That's in a part of something very dramatic. The entire world's against them. Where they'll be like, when I began my journey. They're all on journeys, by the way. All around the world. They're like, when I began my journey, no one believed in me. That's what these girls don't understand. It's not that no one believes in you. No one gives a about anything anyone is doing but themselves. No one's thinking about you. No one's going to bed at night being like, you know who's never going to open a small business? That bitch, Jessica. Good night. Please welcome back to the show my very good friend, Neil Brennan, everybody. a couple of bros that like the same color palette. Uh, let's, can I see a two shot? Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, congrats on the special, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Uh, before I get to it, did you see the eclipse yesterday? I did. It was, I gotta say, it was nice, as a white person, Yeah. it, it was nice to see the sun get pushed around a little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because so, uh, expand on this. Well, I will. Um, white people, we live in terror of the sun. Mm -hmm. Do you, you're old enough to remember, do you remember when sunblock began? <laughs> yeah, I kind of do. People over 40, do you remember when sunblock began? <laughs> Cover your whole body. My, my point is white people were getting scorched. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're getting scorched. So as a, and, and you know who doesn't, like white people have real problems with the sun. Yeah. Like we, we get skin cancer 30 times more than black people. And you know, you know, doesn't care. Black people. Yeah. I, I tell my black friends all the time, I'm like, I'm like, we have real issues. And they're like, yeah, Neil, I'm having a hard time finding my passion <laughs> for this. You know what I'm starting to realize if you think about it? The sun is basically the cops for white people. <laughs> think about it. Following us around everywhere we go, messing with us because of the color of our skin, killing our cousins for no reason. <laughs> And then when I tell my black friends that the sun killed my cousin, they're like, well, what was he wearing? Oh. <laughs> hey, uh, you, your specials, your previous two, have, uh, have dealt with mental health in a way that I think was really refreshing for people because it was honest, but it was also really funny. Mm -hmm. um, do you continue to do that? Yeah. All right, look. Mental health has spread. It, it was like, you know, it's been kind of a uh, the last decade or so, it's gotten more and more mainstream. And uh, and now it's into sports and their ESPN is advocating for athletes to have good mental health. And I want good mental health for everybody, but not athletes. <laughs> Guys, we need our athletes to be total psychos. You know what I'm saying that? <laughs> you know what I call an athlete with good mental health? An assistant coach is what I call them. <laughs> What documentary did we all watch during COVID about basketball? The Last Dance, right? Did Michael Jordan seem mentally healthy to you in the slightest? <laughs> Giant mansion, one chair. <laughs> uh, A maniac. They're all the, gro uh, all the goats are crazy. Uh, which other goat? Uh, Tom Brady, not well. <laughs> he tried to retire, he made it like 10 days. Finally, he was like, I don't know these kids. <laughs> Michael Phelps, Michael Phelps has uh, 23 Olympic gold medals. You know what second place of all time is? Eight. <laughs> he should be in a padded cell somewhere, Michael Phelps. <laughs> I remember when he first started, I don't know if you remember, he got, he, he got like six medals at the Olympics and he came back and he got a uh, bus for a DUI and then somebody took a picture of him smoking weed and people were like, I'm worried about Michael Phelps. I'm like, I'm not, this maniac's right on time. <laughs> That's just a boy who loves his country right there. <laughs> what about, do you see it in women's sports as well? Uh, yeah, the gymnastics, I mean, gymnastics should be against the law probably. Um, <laughs> all, do the figure skater girls seem like they're doing good? <laughs> 
They look like they're struggling to me. Okay. First of all, it's like the first time they've ever been able to use makeup <laughs> at those. <laughs> so they're like figuring it out <laughs> where it's like doll, 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 doll. <laughs> Shock horror. <laughs> And then they, again, it's so dangerous where they're just spinning around <laughs> so fast that they become like a hologram of themselves. <laughs> and then they have to stop and act like they didn't just travel through time. <laughs> and then they finish, and then they have to go sit in that booth with their kidnappers. <laughs> They're like <laughs> holding flowers that someone got at the grocery store. Like, I'm free to go now, yes. I'm, I... <sighs> so, so, you know. I feel like um, you've ruined sports. Um, <laughs> we talked, this is one of my favorite things about your visit. Yeah. All uh, right, so guys, uh, Seth and I have known each other 20 plus years. And, um, and he, okay, so he's married with three children now. I'm still, sing I'm less single. <laughs> we get into that. I think I have, I think I may have found a forever lady. <laughs> um, <laughs> but she might be a temporary mama. We just had somebody in a Broadway musical on before you. You sure you want to do this? Bring him out. <laughs> uh, so now, so this is why this used to be the explanation for why he's married, and I'm longtime single. It's the difference between him socializing and me socializing. This is us in a nightclub in like the mid aughts. Two thousand four. Okay, here we go. Start him. What's Neil doing? Let's find him. Oh no. <laughs> You, you know what you look like? You look like a figure skater waiting for your score. <laughs> but now we have a new photo to show. I we went do. day drinking uh, with Kristen Stewart, and I'm yeah. glad you saw this on social media as well. Yes. Because I noticed it. Uh, yeah. She gave me a lesbian makeover. Kristen Great. Stewart dressed me as a lesbian. Multiple people online said, me dressed like a lesbian. Neil Brennan. But then you've gone one further. You feel like yeah, this. Yeah, no, and then I restaged it. Because you're yeah. like this, you're like, this isn't close enough. But yes. then this is really, you went the extra mile. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I, I, it's not until I saw it on you that I'm like, oh, I am making an idiot's face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah do you not like being a lesbian? I just think I'm, I think I'm surprised by how much I like it. Yeah. Oh. Um, what a delight it is to have you back. Congrats on the special. It's fantastic. Thank you. Neil Brennan, everyone. Crazy good. Streaming now.